Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today we are going to take a look at Lovers in Dangerous Space Time. Holy cow, is that a title? Well, Lovers in Dangerous Space Time is exactly what it sounds like. It's a game that takes place in space. You control a spaceship. It's for up to one to four players. Looks pretty neat. I had to check it out, so let's go ahead and talk it over in today's video. So Lovers in Dangerous Space Time was actually previously on different consoles, Xbox, PlayStation, Steam. Now it's over on the Nintendo Switch. It's a one to four player shooter where you have to save the universe from the threat of the anti-love and rescue poor space bunnies from their cages. Are these Playboy space bunnies? Because I'm all for that. You rescue a certain number of space bunnies per level and collectively use them to unlock the next level. Now the catch with your ship is that each part, lasers, the, I guess, steering wheel, the engines, everything about it has to be manned separately. And that's where the zaniness goes when playing with one to four people. you got to kind of direct traffic. Each picks like a little space, you know, I'm going to drive the ship. Oh, I'm going to shoot stuff. It causes a lot of wackiness, especially in levels where there's obstacles that you have to go from one side of the ship to the other. It's quite fun, especially if you're playing with people. This is like the ideal multiplayer game in the, I guess, in the spirit of like a game like Overcooked. Lovers in Dangerous Space Time is exactly like the same thing almost, but you're controlling the ship. You can even upgrade the types of ships you have. Some are bigger than others. Some have different types of weapons and stuff. But overall, the premise stays the same. And it's even fun to play single player if you don't have friends like me. You can actually have a little pet that helps control your ship with you. You move it across the ship, have it do certain stuff. And thankfully, it works automatically. So it helps you out and it's a load of fun. This is one of those games where you can really kill a lot of time just playing it and checking it out. And it has that cute presentation with, you know, like the hearts and the pinks and the colorfuls and the cute little characters that walk across screen. It's quite quirky in its own regard. And I thought it was a load of fun to play and look at. I fell in love with this game. I fell in love with Lovers in Dangerous Space Time. The game definitely shines in multiplayer though, but just letting you know, single player is available and fun. Now, the levels in the, the game are all randomly generated. There's four major campaigns to work through. Each consists of four levels and a boss. You gain upgrades throughout the levels. You can upgrade your ship, certain things of nature. So as you progress, the game becomes essentially uh, more in depth as far as how your ship goes and stuff like that. Good thing about it is multiple upgrades can be stacked on top of one another. And with the Nintendo Switch, and I always say this, this is a perfect go-to game with your friends. Take it anywhere, pop it off, hand them a Joy-Con, everything like that. So Lovers in Dangerous Space Time is such a neat little game. And it was actually met with a lot of critical acclaim and praise when it was on Steam. And it's an indie title that literally is flying under the radar on the Nintendo Switch. Nobody's talking about it. If you want games that you can sit down and play with your friends that are actually good and fun, Lovers in Dangerous Space Time is one that you definitely need to check out. I am recommending the hell out of this one. Just being able to play with your friends, each controls a different ship, trying to see how far you can get in the game, in the levels, upgrading, doing again on a different level that's randomly generated is so much fun. And the fact that the levels are procedurally generated just adds that much replayability to it. This is a game that is very hands-on and you might even break your relationships with your friends yelling at each other if they screw up or not, but the gameplay mechanics are awesome. This is like the ultimate team effort game and I'm glad that it's on the Nintendo Switch and I am recommending it. So guys, Lovers in Dangerous Space Time plays great, feels great, looks great. Go grab some friends, download this game, check it out now. Biatch. And well guys, that's it for today's review. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment, like. I'll see you soon. Bye.